this is Neil or SpaceX ULA and welcome to the first edition of Still Extruding. This is going to be a bi-weekly podcast from FabLocker Hackerspace uh, covering tech support issues for RepRap and the general community around RepRap. Uh, for this first edition we're going to be covering the installation of the software for a RepRap. Um, for RepRap you have three pieces of software you need to download. Um, one is Arduino. Um, that is the program that you use to upload firmware to your electronics. Uh, the other one is your host program. My personal pra favorite is Prompterface. And the program that you're going to use to turn your 3D objects into G-code. Um, my personal preference is SFACT, which is a derivative of SchemeForge, which is the most commonly used. But I, I prefer SFACT at this point. Um, Arduino, there's actually already a really good video tutorial on how to install that one on Windows. So if you go um, in Google or YouTube and search installing Arduino software and Uno on Windows 7, you'll find this video. I find it's about the easiest one to follow. He also has a British accent, which you know, makes everything sound better. Um, the next is going to be um, getting a copy of Pronterface and SFACT. Um, for most things with RepRap, the best place to get information, uh, first check the wiki and then confirm it in uh, Freenode IRC or Freenode Web Chat. So actually, you just go um, Freenode Web Chat, uh, whatever you want your call name to be, the channel you're going to go into, and prove you're not a robot. Hey, I'm not a robot. So once you log in, uh, we actually have a bot called Kthax um, that will answer your questions automatically for you. So if someone's in here, no one's in here who's going to answer your question. A lot of times you can just ask whatever you're wanting to know about. And usually there's a factoid stored in um, stored in the um, Kthax database. So first we're going to do Pronterface. Um, Pronterface is your host program again. We'll go ahead and get the um, uh, GitHub version and the compiled version. And also we're going to do SFACT. By the way, that gentleman there is the one who actually designed the Sangre Lulu Electronics. So um, it's an all-star cast in our IRC at most times. Um, so we're going to go ahead and download a copy of um, Print Run, which has Pronter Face in it, the executable, um, and SFACT, which is right here. You're going to download all three of them. You hit the download button to download them. Go into the folder. Let's go ahead and get rid of these so we can start afresh. Once you've downloaded... Um, Once you have downloaded your copy of SFACT um, and Print Run, you can um, go ahead and install that way, or you can just use the executable version. So we're going to open all three of these. You only have to either download SFACT and Print Run or the um, print, um, print, uh, print UNDST. You can not do it either way you want. Extract those. The easiest way to install your host program and your scheming program is to just go ahead and use the print UN DST. So we go in there. You just go to the executable, um, which has the Pronterface logo. Double click it, and it will automatically load all your. Um, dependencies and it just runs right off the bat so you can just load the program that you want to scheme and it will process now this will not be the bleeding edge um, version of Pronterface and um, SFACT to do that you have to go um, to the versions that come off the GitHub so you would go into Pronterface uh, um, or 
font interfaces folder um, print run and you're going to open up the readme file and you're going to follow the instructions in there you need to read the whole thing but the most important thing to be sure to do is to um, install these four programs or these four programs in order so you need to first install Python if you don't already have it then uh, PY serial WX Python and um, PY um, readline you need to install these in order once all of them are installed the dependencies will be filled out for um, Ponderface now you need if you read the um, readme file you'll see that it tells you if you want to integrate ScheneForge you have to do it this way you type in ScheneForge here Scheme Ponderface being a version of ScheneForge then you go over to your SFAC folder grab everything in it copy go back into print run ScheneForge dump it in there take just a second to transfer okay now this one will work just like the other one but the difference is this is the bleeding edge version of print run and print run or printer face and SFACT so that's the icon uh, go ahead and hit the printer face Python script it will go ahead and run for you open your file there you go uh, if you have any tech issues with um, SFACT or Pronterface, both the developers are in the IRC on a regular basis. Uh, if you can't contact them there, or just if you want to um, make their life a little easier, if you have an issue, post it as an issue under GitHub. Um, don't just complain about it. They can usually, um, I know that SFACT and Pronterface are in active development, so if you point out an issue, and it's not a user issue if it's actually a issue in the code it can usually be fixed within minutes and if it's a significant issue it'll be pushed out into the github in minutes so as you can see we have two versions of host another interesting thing about Pronterface is that it's very friendly to running multiple machines so you can run as many um, rep wraps off of one computer as you have USB cords to plug it in. So there you go, two versions. Um, if you have any other issues you'd like me to cover, or if you would like me to in any way change the format of this uh, webcast, just go ahead and give me a message. Have a good day.